Thank you so much for joining me. If you haven't been here before, my name is Tracy and this is a DIY upcycling channel. And I recently did a video and at the end of it, I talked about this yarn braid a little bit and I got a few requests to do a video on how I make them. And that's what I'm doing today. First, I'm going to show you the little clip I'm talking about and then we'll get to it. I have this yarn belt. It's a really long cluster of yarn pieces that I just braid. Now, this solved a problem for me back in the day when I was selling. I would make jeans and they would typically be oversized and really oversized for my tiny little mannequins. And so I didn't want to pin it or clip the jeans, you know, because I want to show them off. I don't want them to look all weird. And I didn't want to put belts on them because even if you put in the description, belt not included. Well, shoppers on eBay, Etsy, including myself, aren't really famous for reading every single word in the description. And will they be expecting the belt that I put on there? And I didn't want to give away all my belts. So I started making braid belts and I would tie up the pants and I would say, braid belt included. And so it solved that problem for me. Here's another example of a yarn braid belt. And I actually have a tutorial for these jeans. I'll put the link down in my description. I have a tutorial for these two, but these are the jeans I'm making the belt for. The link for these also in my description. I have a basket of thrifted yarn. Yarn is plentiful at my thrift store, so I never pay full price for yarn. So that's what we're going to be using. Now I just picked out my yarn. I'm using six different colors on this one. And I always like to have sort of a high contrast, like this dark brown and this sort of white. And this one blends, so that matches really nice. And a lot of times I like to use as close to a denim color yarn as I can to tie it in with the actual jeans. And then just some fun colors, gold, and I have green. Now the number of strands that you use for the whole braid just depends on the thickness of your yarn. Typically, like this one has 10 strands and you see it's a lot thinner this one has 20 strands. I'm thinking I'm going to go about 12 strands of yarn for my braid for these jeans. Okay, I want to cut my strands 114 inches long. You can have them as long or as short as you want, and you can kind of gauge the size of mine, whether you want to add or subtract inches. So, so I don't have to measure out every single piece of yarn. What I do, is I take my table and I measure out 114 inches. So on my table, my yarn will go six inches off at each end and I'll lay it out the full length of the table. Okay, I cut two pieces of the white. It's a pretty average size yarn. And I think I'm going to do two pieces of this dark color. I think I'll do one piece of the blue since it's a really thick sort of chenille yarn. I'll do three of this green because it's very thin, my thinnest yarn, and I want to be able to see it. So I'll do an extra one. And then I have these two left. I'll do two each of these. Now that I have my yarn all measured out, I'm going to come to one end and I want about a six or seven inch tail. So I'm going to make a little knot right here. And I want that length at my opposite end as well. Now I find a hook or nail to set this knot on in order to braid it. And sometimes I have a little hook right here. Sometimes I use that. 
I have a nail at the top of this room divider screen. Sometimes I use that. But my favorite is a little hook I have right here on, it's a room divider screen that I've put a bunch of hooks in to display my necklaces. So I'll just set it on there. Just like this. And start braiding. Now this takes a little bit of time and patience when it's this long because it's super easy to get tangled. And I don't make sure I cluster each color. I just grab whatever. Sometimes the surprise of the design turns out better than you think. Don't try to overthink or plan this part. So I need to untangle every step of the way. When it gets shorter, I don't have to worry about it so much. So, just divide it into three pieces and start braiding. And so I'll go over it once or twice and re-straighten out my strings. Okay, so now I want six or seven inches at this end, so I'll knot it. And I'll have to trim some crazy ones that got a little long on me. Here it is, all done. Now I lost 13 inches. So I cut these 114 inches long and it is now 101 inches long. So that's really good information for you so you know how long to cut your yarn. Let me put it on the jeans. Okay, here it is. What a fun detail. If you just want to add an extra hippie boho vibe. Now you could get extra artsy. You could bead the strands of yarn or a couple strands of yarn to bead it. Just at the end of your yarn, take a piece of scotch, little piece of scotch tape, make a little point, and it'll go right through kind of a larger hole bead. You could take doily crocheted flowers, sew them along the belt. That would be adorable. Now I want to tell you, I hit 100,000 subscribers last night and I want to thank you so much for your love and support, for watching my videos. You know, I really wake up every morning jumping out of bed, excited for my day to create and share with you. And I just thank you so, so much for that. Very exciting for me. Um, I'm going to do a little slideshow. I have some more pictures of unconventional, unconventional ways I've made belts and held up jeans. And then I'll show some more braid belts. But, you know, those are kind of nice, these slideshows, because if you know how to screenshot and you want to save it for reference, that's a good time to do it. I thank you so, so much for watching.